think your friend's hand will make for a nice broth? Hmm. You've clearly honed your sense of humor. But we are not cannibals, Geralt. I took a fragment of tissue from the hand. It will suffice to prepare some resonance. What did you do with the rest? I cremated it, as our Codex commands. A raven told me you'd acquired the necessary ingredient. Send your spies after me? My watchers. Were something to go wrong, I could then arrive quickly to help. Managed fine alone, but thanks for the thought. Gonna need much longer to finish brewing resonance? Mentioned the last ingredient, too. What about that? That, I fear, might prove troublesome. You see, to use the concoction to summon the memories of one, the solution must contain the blood of another specimen of the same species. Shouldn't be a problem. I happen to know a higher vampire who should be willing to help. Right, Regis? It's not that simple, I'm afraid. While you were away, I tried my damnedest to identify a replacement. But, alas, none such exists. Not sure I understand what the problem is. Can't we just draw some of your blood? The blood must be in an agitated state. As I'm certain you know, higher vampires can change their corporeal shell. As our flesh changes, so does our blood's chemical composition. To make a long story short, I shall need to induce in myself a state of strong psychokinetic arousal. In brief, madness, rabidity. And that stands to be very, very dangerous. All right, so what do you want to do? We shall visit Tesha Mudna, an ancient vampire estate. There we will find cages suspended in the air. I will enter one, be confined. You will lure beasts there. Beasts you will then kill. The bloodletting should prove profuse. Abundant enough so that the blood scent will drive me mad. Wild. Tesha Mudna. What's it like? It is a place of torment. A torture chamber. Long ago, shortly after we'd arrived in this world, one among us named Kagmar developed such a taste and lust for human blood that in one night he could imbibe an entire village. This brought trouble on the entire species. Common folk wearied quickly of living in constant fear. They began to hunt us, seek the aid of mages and witches in tracking us down. So what? Not like they could ever hope to kill you. But they were bothersome. Forgive the comparison, but when did you last enjoy mosquitoes buzzing around your head? In any case, the other vampires decided something had to be done. Kagmar had to be caught and punished. A torture chamber was thus outfitted in the dungeons of Tesham Mudna. Inside it, a cage made entirely of a special alloy of silver, dalvinite, and meteorite steel. Kagmar was captured and locked in the cage. Sat there over two centuries, driven to fury time after time, never able to escape. Thus I know the cage will withstand the fury to which we shall drive my humble being. See no reason to dawdle. Tesham Mudna. Take me there. In a moment. Just one last thing. What was that? Uh, blood. Oh, the last favor the raven did me. I've also taken some Sangurium, a solution that sharpens one's sense of smell. One drop of blood shall smell like a gallant to me now. You crazy? You're a recovering addict. <sighs> Your outrage warms my heart, Geralt. But you must remain calm. I have no choice. As things stand, the die is cast. <sighs> High time we set off for Tesh and Mutna. My head's... Spinning already, and you're... you're starting to smell quite tasty. And you're starting to scare me. We have arrived. 
The sacrificial chamber of torture and torment lies underground. You lead. Scurvers must be getting close to their feeding ground. Correct. I told you there'd be danger. Beyond this wall lies an ancient vampire dungeon. Seen a lot of things in my time. Nothing quite like this, though. My, I feel honored. A man with such a wealth of experience, yet I'm about to show him something new. Now, to open it. It's an ancient form of protection against unwanted guests. The mechanism which releases the latch reacts only to a higher vampire's blood. Tricky mechanisms. A vampire hideout. Fortified, secured. Must have been important to your species once. Toussaint. It shall always be so. During the conjunction, the gate from our world into this one opened upon this land and no other. This was the first place we saw. Human husbandry and care? This for real? The author observed humans, their behavior, over the many years he spent breeding them. Morally suspect though it may be, it's a thorough survey of the topic. This place, there's evil here. Death hangs in the air. Yes. A great many beings have lived their last here. Glyphs are carved into the rock. Coated with blood used to be. They mean something? They're emblems. Symbols of... Uh... Will what you would call tribes, dispersed throughout the world after the conjunction. My ancestors placed them here to remind us of where we came from. And this one? Which tribe's this? Garishan. My tribe, and Dedlas. We both remained in this part of the world. Seems your kind assembled a peculiar little library. Indeed. Cells. To the four. Ah. And this one? Which tribe's this? Garishan. My tribe, and Dedlas. Whose is this glyph? Amarun. They ventured beyond the sea. What's this symbol mean? It's the symbol of the Tedet. Those who went east, beyond the Blue Mountains. Place, but 
What are all those cages for? Mentioned one vampire being kept here. Yes, well, you see, humanitarians is something my ancestors were not. They concluded Kagmar would best be punished if he were tormented with the scent of blood he could not taste. Thus, they also kept humans here. Humans whose blood they slowly let. Kagma ranted and raged in pain as those... those humans slowly bled to death. They treated them like livestock. Live bait. I'd like to be able to turn back time. Deny it, but alas, I can do neither. Feel shame for my brethren. That is all I can do. Don't take it so hard. Nothing you could have done about it. Let's get to work. Well, that was awkward. Fine. I prepared the bait. Please be so kind and place it. Ideally at the tunnel entrances. The Zen will spread most effectively then. Place the bait at the tunnel entrances. Monsters will catch us. natural order of things. The place reeked of death and attracted necrophages. Stenches so thick I This'll hold. Doesn't look like anything special. I told you. Kagmar thrashed about inside it for over two centuries. Appearances can be deceiving. Bait set. What now? I shall enter the cage. You must chain me inside. Bars are made of an alloy that will prevent me from transforming into mist. Kinda thought you wouldn't want to. I shall be in great pain. My sole thought being to stop that pain. I cannot know what I will do. Uh, we must hurry. The beasts have caught the scent also my head. Started spinning. That the blood? Uh, someone who's never experienced a vampire's bloodlust does not know the true meaning of thirst. Say when you can't take it anymore. And what would you do once I uttered it? Don't know. Calm you down. Somehow. Mm -hmm. Jesus, not blood.
Hammer. Need to hang on a little longer. Blood'll dry in a few hours. Scent won't bother me anymore. state. Tell me how. I'll help you. Any better? Far from ideal. And some time must pass before I fully recover. But yes, a bit better. Thank you. expected it to be like that. You didn't tell me. We need not discuss it. But we do. Because if I'd known you were going to subject yourself to torture... What would you have done? Found Dedloff some other way. I did not wish you to use any other way. Did that occur to you? No. Because I thought no being would ever willingly subject itself to that kind of pain. You vampires aren't any different from us in that regard. I told you. The pain is my way of paying my debt. The enormous debt I owe Detlaf. <sighs> if I had to do it again, I would in a heartbeat. Resonance, it's ready. Are you certain you followed the formula? The proportions were exact, the brewing time precise. This is important, Geralt. The slightest deviation could cost even a witcher dearly. Relax. Got some experience brewing potions. Very well. In that case, let's begin. The cup. Sir, you were next. Please, take a seat. This gentleman was here first. Step down or you shall regret it. Ah, <laughs> fails to realize he was your friend, Count. Then I ordered him to give up his seat and step off the step. If only you'd seen his face. We got him good, didn't we, Detlaf? And then Mother insisted we buy the mill. <laughs> Curious, eh? At least I've a yarn to spin for friends and associates. Forgive me. What?
Awake at last. You ride like a squirrel caught in a snare. I'd begun to fear they were death throes. That you'd... departed. <clears throat> uh, sure wasn't pleasant, but it worked. What did you see? Delacroix. His death did not come easy. Seems Dedlaff had made friends with him. Still killed him, and chopped up his corpse. And he was overcome with fury, remorse. Cut off the hand that had committed the murder. Hmm, interesting. And entirely unlike the Detlef I know. See anything else? Saw a moment. Delacroix did something selfless. Was kind to Detlef. Guess it could have been the start of their friendship. Why the uncertainty? Nothing extraordinary about it. Normal, everyday situation, really. Visions were supposed to issue from strong emotions. Clearly the situation provoked such emotions in Detlef. Keep in mind, he did later murder Delacroix. Killing someone who's grown dear to us, it's bound to elicit strong emotion. Vampires are no different in that regard. Did you see anything else? There was something. Showed up twice in the vision. A bootblack stand. Detlaf first met Delacroix there. Went back after the murder, actually. Peculiar. Stand was somewhere in the port district. And the bootblack acted as if he knew Detlaf. Hmm. That would be even odder. Perhaps we should have a chat with the lad. Though I would expect no breakthroughs. It's our only lead. I'll go talk to him. Coming with. I shall join you later if it's no trouble. I don't yet feel strong enough to venture out. That's fair. Rest up. Be back as soon as I learn anything. Greetings. I hope you're searching. What do you have on off?
farewell. Good luck on the path. From the friseur Jean-Louis Ludovic, the latest in cuts and styles in the Koviri court fashion.